नमस्कार आई अमित कुमार वेलकम यू ऑल इन आई एम डेज वीकली वेदर ब्रीफिंग सो द मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट वेदर सिस्टम विच इम्पेक्टेड इंडिया ड्यूरिंग लास्ट वीक वॉज द डीप डिप्रेशन विच फॉर्म्ड ओवर साउथ राजस्थान एरिया ऑन सिक्स ऑफ सेप्टेम्बर द टोटल लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ दिस डिप्रेशन एज डिपेक्टेड इन दिस इमेज इज फ्रॉम सिक्स सेप्टेम्बर टू इलेवंथ सेप्टेम्बर सो यू कैन सी दैट इट्स ट्रैक दैट फ्रॉम साउथ राजस्थान इट ट्रावर्स ओवर नॉर्थ गुजरात देन साउथ पाकिस्तान एंड देन टू नॉर्थ ईस्ट Arabian Sea and then to northwest Arabian Sea where it became or it weakened into a well marked low pressure area today morning on 11th of September so in this map uh, now you can see that under the influence of this deep depression you can see that the areas of south rajasthan west mp and gujarat state received very heavy to exceptionally heavy very heavy to extremely heavy rainfall during these last 7 days as depicted in this map now if we look at the weekly rainfall distribution of whole country then in this map you can see that rajasthan west mp and gujarat state received large excess rainfall during this week punjab and haryana received excess rainfall during this week and in the table you can see that because of the rainfall activity associated with deep depression and passing western disturbances the central india northwest india received plus 41% and plus 17% above normal rainfall uh, from long period average in this map you can clearly see that east and northeast india and parts of south peninsular india received below normal rainfall during this past week now if you look at the southwest monsoon season as a whole then in this map you can see that country as a whole we received 8% above normal rainfall uh, till 10th of september and uh, you can see that uh, in central india northwest india and in the states of uh, in himalayan regions you can see that all are in dark blue color that means that they received large excess to excess rainfall the only subdivisions which received below deficient uh, rainfall were bihar assam meghalaya and arunachal pradesh and in this table you can clearly see that east and northeast india received minus 20% that means 20% less rainfall activity uh, rainfall amount from the long period average remaining all the three sub uh, homogeneous regions you can see that they have received more than the normal rainfall now if we look at the forecast for next two weeks then by the end of this current week that is from 11th september to 18th of september the conditions will become favorable for the withdrawal of southwest monsoon from some parts of northwest india in terms of rainfall if we look at the forecast for week 1 then enhanced rainfall activity over northeast and adjoining east india are likely during this week one heavy rainfall spells are also likely over peninsular india during most days of week one if we talk about the forecast for week two then the rainfall activity is likely to be normal to above normal over northwest and central india and many parts of south peninsular india and near normal over most parts of east northeast india during week now if we look at the forecast for maximum temperature for week 1 then maximum temperatures are likely to be near normal or below normal over most parts of the country except many parts of the central and east india for week 2 the maximum temperatures are likely to be near normal over most parts of the country during week 2 during these two upcoming weeks there is no probability of a cyclogenesis over the indian seas that is arabian sea bay of bengal and indian ocean under the influence of existing cyclonic circulation over south odisha and north coastal andhra pradesh a low pressure area is likely to form by 13th over parts of west central bay of bengal then during the first half of week 2 a fresh uh, upper air cyclonic circulation is likely to form over west central bay of bengal thank you for joining with us namaskar jai hind